what I makes you a huge to Christian? Survive. Okay, what makes you a huge Christian? Every single day. Okay, but what makes you a huge Christian? You know, being a Christian means showing the Lord and the Jesus mm -hmm. to other people. Yes. I am drunk right now, and I'm having a huge, a huge panic attack right now. I don't drink much. Like, I don't drink much at all. Well, let me tell you, Jesus said that if you love him, you keep his words. You keep his commandments. The Bible says, Jesus said it, that if you love him, you keep his word. And he also said that if you want to follow him, you need to deny yourself. You need to deny this life. Deny the ways of the world. Do you remember those scriptures? He says those that are friends of the world are enemies to God. They're enemies to Christ. When you love the things of this world and you do the things, you're just a man, you're a little drunk, right? What do you think that does? You know what it does. You know what it promotes. You know what it leads. Drinking has killed many families. No. Has destroyed the, families. This is the first time I've this is the first time I've ever drank before. Yeah. So I'm having well, a turn. Really bad time. Okay, get right. Get right with Jesus quickly. He can heal you. Jesus can heal you from this. I know. You can be made complete. I know. My no literally my dad sends me like scriptures every single day. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like, I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah. I'm getting a panic attack. So I'm just from, like, you're getting a panic attack because what we're saying? Yeah. That's good. That might be a good thing. Yeah, I don't know. Get right. Quickly, leave this place. Is that your boyfriend? No. That's my sister's so, boyfriend. Okay, well tell him to take you home. Get out of here yeah. while you still can. How old are you? I'm 21. I just turned 21. Get out of here. Get, out of here. Get right with you. If you know, you know, Jesus said that if you know his word and you cause other people to stumble, it's better for you to tie a noose around your neck and throw yourself in the depths of the sea with a rock. Think about that. Jesus was that serious and why we have to get right with him and truly follow him because if not, you can just be a hypocrite. I'm talking to a lady, man. Chill out. I'm talking to a lady. We're not talking. You're being rude. Hey. Wait till I'm done and then you can say what you want, all right? No, no you're it's serious stuff. No, he's not being rude. He's not talking about rude. Jesus right now, okay? Right here. You can listen if you want to listen. You, you can listen. Forgiven. So, Jesus said that this is a condemnation, that light is coming to the world, the light is the word, mm -hmm. and that men or people love darkness rather than light because they're deep. If you don't stay in the word, like you say, your dad reads the word, does it? If you don't stay in it and practice it and do it, you're going to keep on messing up. Jesus empowers us yeah. to live in holiness, oh, no, to live yeah. the right way. I have literally like prayed to God for like blessings and I just thought of, I just was able to buy a brand new car. Okay. And like I literally prayed to him every single day. So I, I'm really proud of you for being able to stand here and being like, be able to. Well, we're answering what Jesus yeah. said to do. You know, it's yeah. important. And you need That's to do it. Jesus why don't you do it? You know, just because of what that guy just did right now. You That's know? part of it. Did they not do that to Jesus? It's just rude. Jesus said this. He said this and greater things will you do also. He said that. He said he has equipped us. And he said when we go out and preach the gospel, he said if it happened to them, it happened to him, it's going to happen to you. Yeah. And, and God counts it. As a matter of fact, you, have you ever heard the scripture where it says store treasure in heaven? Where neither my so the Bible Jesus said, don't store treasure here where it could rust, it could get corrupted, it could you could have an accident, you could lose your brand new car, whatever. But he says, store treasure in heaven. Well, how do you store treasure in heaven? Well, by walking as Jesus walked. When you have the Spirit of Christ in you and you truly are saved, you walk as Jesus walked. Literally. And not only, but you store treasure like me talking to you right now. If you take these words that I'm speaking to you, they're from Jesus, and you do something with them to truly follow Jesus, that's storing treasure in heaven. Yeah. So think yeah. about that. But Literally. now, let's say your, your girlfriend's over there, right? Those are our two friends, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if they're Christians or not, but if you're telling me you're a Christian, you know, you're causing them to, to mess up, right? Jesus said, remember what I told you? If you cause someone to stumble because you're not being a light, you're not being the example, it's better for you to tie a rope. Again, I would quote that. Get a rock and throw yourself in the depth of the sea because you should not, you as a believer, it's a much more harsh punishment knowing these things on that day of judgment and you didn't do nothing about it. You know, I can't tell you how many Christian young ladies I met like yourself or, 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 
masters that when they're not in their building and they're out here, they act just like everyone else. And how many of those people don't serve Jesus and go do it? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's very important. What's your name? I'm Stephanie. My name's Jacob Stephanie. I want you to know, I want you to know, Stephanie, to get right with Jesus. Walk in this way. I can't tell you the amount of stuff I've seen from you. I gave my heart when I was about 12 years old. I did too. And so, almost every day I pray, and I'm just like, Lord, let me have a good day. Yeah. Let me, and then, and it's so weird, even if I don't pray, I get really bad anxiety, because I have anxiety really bad. And then, if I don't pray, I almost have a bad day. There'll be so. some kind of connection, but you need to follow Jesus. I love to see a young lady like you being in places like this, sharing the gospel. It's yeah. very rare, but Jesus tells his followers. He tells us, those that have called themselves to be daughters, sons of God, to walk as he walked. This is what he says. This is how we know that we know him, Jesus. Check out these words. If we keep his commands, his words, the one who says, I have come to know Jesus and yet doesn't keep his words is a liar and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, if you keep his word, it says truly in you. Look at this. Look at this. Truly in you. Truly in you. The love of God is made complete. This is how we know that we know him. The one who says they remain in him should walk just as he walked. And that is what Jesus demands yeah. from us. So thanks to I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. Well, if anything, you should be out doing what we're doing. You're not on the mic. You'd be talking, yeah. giving out tracks like this. A lot of these young ladies, men, are just caught up in all kinds of stuff. You know, young ladies have been raped, uh, bad families. And yeah. sometimes, even though they're getting drunk, most time living this way, it's just... A ends to a means a means the ends of something because of what they've been dealing with in their lives mm -hmm. and sometimes they need to hear it right here yeah. and so it's very important and I just want really want to encourage you on that to truly know Jesus in that way